ring. Are those are real? No. I got them from a sex shop. They're cute, though. Yeah. I mean, like those be breaking me out. Let me tell you something. The real <laughs> stuff, I don't wear all I, I'm a good costume jewelry girl. Like, this okay, is not cute. chrome hearts. This mm-hmm. is costume. That's cute, I though. love my costume stuff because you can, you can just throw and go. But then you have real stuff. But no, but also, too, though, I, I lose all the real shit, so I got to wear it all the time. Yeah. Like, 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 I have to wear this ring all the time while I'm going to lose it. And see, these rings, I lose them all the time because yeah, you go and yeah. wash your hands, you take them out, you want to jerk off, you got to just oh, take them out. You know what I mean? See, I, you don't, like that. I think that, you but, know? But, 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 I, but I like to live vicariously through you all who do do that. You don't jerk off? No. I don't, I'm not a sexual person. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, listen, so we're here now, okay? Yes, so we're going to get into some things. I'm really excited. Like, this was really mm-hmm. impromptu. Yeah, no, no, I live for you because we saw each other in Hollywood. Why was it? Was it Hollywood? Yeah, that was the Abbey. Big I mean, not the Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You really great. look good in person. Thank like, you it's so like much. The, I think that the people, I, I, I'm, I'm so confused because. Bitch, you I, got I on makeup know. right now, huh? No, listen, why do people love saying that? But no, look, we can do a, <laughs> like, we can look, we can do a test <laughs> if need be. No, no, no. No, you really do look good. Well, thank you so much. You look great as well. Okay, so I'm ready to get into some That's things. Dope, and I love the color. All right, so we got Shad Santiago Hi, in the building. Hi. Listen, I feel like a legend. I'm going to just say you know, that. You know, you are lit to me. Yeah. I, the reason why I feel like a legend is because I watched you. and You were one of the first people that I would see, you know, as an influencer oh, and yeah. as an LGBT, as a personality. And for us to be sitting here together, just, you know, sometimes as an influencer, you have those days where you're like, am I doing enough work? Am I doing the work? And now that I'm able to get people like you on the platform, it's like, okay, bitch, you're doing your thing. So I'm just really grateful that you came here and I want to have a really good time and I'm excited that you're here. Let's make it make sense, bitch, okay? Okay, so (laughs) I want to just get into it. So Word on the Curb is you started out on Vine. Is that correct? Okay, so tell me how you got into this. No, so I just, uh, you remember like, uh, because... Uh, so everybody's plan now is to be famous. Like everybody wants to be famous or go viral, right? However, remember when Vine was out, th- that was not a thing. Like we didn't know that you could get like build a career based off of social media, right? So I made a video, bitch, saying how I really felt. I think I said if I fall in love with you, you better fall in love back. I'm gonna beat you the fuck up. But I was dead ass serious though. So one of my friends, um, shout out to, to Brittany. Um, she's an actress now, but she she was like, bitch, watch you end up being famous because, and I was like, girl. Whatever, but I woke up the next day to make, I think, like, 20,000 followers the next day. The next day, 40, you know, just kept going. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I honestly just was saying how I felt, you know what I'm saying? But now everybody does that to go viral, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it just, and what's funny is that that same video, somebody posted on TikTok recently, and it went viral again. And that's that's kind of been your thing, because I think for a while when I was following you, it was always, like, ended with, I'm going to beat you the fuck up. So uh, did that become a thing? Well, like, no, no, that was how I felt back then. I but, was fight a lot. But then it was like, oh, really? Mm-hmm. You don't fight no more. Mm. Find this kind of ghetto, right? Yeah. How old I mean, are I, you? I, I, I'm 36, I think. Oh, we're the but, same but, age. But, 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 I, but I don't feel like age is a... I don't really feel like, oh, because I'm uh, 36, I can't fight anymore. That, that ain't it. I just think that now, the things that used to piss me off, don't piss me off anymore. I'm like, whatever. Bitch, being 36 fighting is crazy. You can, We can know. <laughs> like, girl, I, I wake mean, no, up... But, I mean, but I honestly feel like this... Oh, shit. I honestly feel like this, though. A lot of things, like, I don't even be... Like, and plus, too, like, once you accomplish some shit, child, you know what I'm saying? Look, you, you know, do some movies and some shit. It's like, girl... So you've done movies, no. TV, um, has a, have a book out. I did radio for a while too. Radio, music too. So <laughs> like that, that that does not count. Okay, you know, so music. I mean, I did, <laughs> but that is just <laughs> that's like a parody. Okay. Well, I, mean, I do mean fuck my ex. But okay. I wasn't. That's not like I wasn't like. Oh my god, I'm about to be viral from doing this song. This thing. So what made you like get into like the book? No. So I wrote. I'm glad you asked that because I'm very passionate about writing. For all you people. Yeah, so to be frank, I wrote my book in the 10th grade. I was on punishment for the entire summer. I just wrote a book. However, like, I'm an avid book reader. I read, like, 10 pages a day. Like, I love writing. I love reading. So that's the thing for me. Like, and I'm actually working on my second book. Mm. But my first book I wrote in 10th grade. So it, it wasn't like I, like, I literally wrote in 10th grade. I, and I don't know how I still had that copy. I literally found it, like, in storage somewhere. And I was like, let me publish this. That is super dope. Yeah, so a lot of people sense. probably don't know that about you. They probably just think, like, you're just this loud, boisterous personality. And it's like, well, no, actually, this guy has a brain, and he does a lot of legit things. So, Well, yeah, no. Well, I think that I think that anyone who was also astute would know that I am a smart person. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like, like if you're not dumb, then you know that I'm smart. <laughs> okay. And you then, are dumb, child. This, that's on you. Then the, <laughs> the talk show, the shot yes, show. Yes, the shot show. Okay, so... Okay, you know that kind of came. It went. I didn't yeah, really get so, the tea on so that. Funny. Like, what okay, happened with that? So I didn't have any creative direction at all. I honestly was so excited because I got the offer, but I didn't just, like sit down and say, "Let me 
let me put up a, get a lawyer or whatever. They they honestly had everything they wanted to do for the show, which I didn't think it was gonna work, and it didn't to, at all to me. Like it, it 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 came and went. Like now, granted, they did mention a second season, but I feel like I, I just was so over like the whole concept. I felt like like we should have did something totally different with the show. And I mean, but shout out to them though. Shout out to y'all. I love y'all for the opportunity. I was dope to get even off of the show, but I honestly felt we should have did something totally different that would have went with my brand, but. So where are you at kind of with that kind of stuff now? Like, um, do you want to so do I, talk shows and TV so still? I can uh, offer a lot of shit, right? However, I think that... Hmm. So I can offer shit, right? But I, so I feel like this. Anyone can reinvent themselves, right? So you can take a break, and then you can do one show, right, that'll take you to, 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 to another level. So Turn I mean, your um, mic oh. up a little bit, yeah. Well, oh, like this? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, you can so, turn it all the way up, because you ain't sitting up. Mm -hmm. So I've been offered a lot of shit, but I mean, I don't know. It just depends. Like, clearly, I'm still going to work in entertainment, but I'm just letting it go where it's supposed to go. Like, I've been offered to do... Because you've been chilling for a minute. Yeah, I mean, I, I offered a lot of money to do a couple of things, but... Okay, so let's talk about it for real, because yeah. I feel like... I kind of found you during the 2015 era. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You got like you were part of the lump sum of like the first yeah, wave. Yeah. Remember, and, look, we got like like we like we were in like magazines, like the social media people, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Then the TV, and then so some of the some of the people kind of just went up. Some of the people kind of yeah, went into yeah, business other places. Yeah, yeah. So where do you feel like you? I mean, fit? I honestly, so I've been relaxing. Like I was, I was engaged. Mm. Um, yeah. engaged is crazy. We definitely got to get into that. Yeah, I was that. engaged. Um, we were. And like the second biggest wedding magazine, the not magazine, we're the write up. We were gonna um, do um, MTV was gonna pay for our wedding in Aruba. It was a, it was a thing. However, um, once that he and I broke up, I just you know started to chill for a little bit. Okay, and so then, it was an emotional thing that kind of. I mean, then, what happened is so to be frank, my my, my mom passed away in January, but okay. but before she passed away, she had cancer for like five years. So I was helping her a lot. It uh, honestly. Doing entertainment was not even on my on my all mind right. at all. So nah, and, and, and my and she and I were like we were best friends. So I wasn't even thinking about oh let me do this show. I honestly was like like you know like I don't know if, well you don't know but and like it was like a mix of emotions. So I would like go through times when I'm like oh you know what I want to do something right. But then times I wouldn't want to do shit for like months. I'm saying like I want to be with yeah. her. And January then, 2024. Did, her, she just passed. Yeah. Oh January yeah. I'm sorry to hear that because that, that's but, heavy. But prior to that she was struggling with cancer. So I honestly like I did like some shit, but it was like. Maybe like a month or so, and I would go to, with her for a couple months. You know I'm saying so. Well, I wasn't, Absolutely. I wasn't really thinking about doing, any, and, and I would always tell myself that anyone can reinvent themselves. I was not thinking like, oh my God, I gotta, I have to do TV right now because I'm Charlotte Santiago. Like, no. My, my mom was my best friend, so I was not thinking about doing shit to do with, with, with TV. Like, I honestly was so stressed out while, while she was sick. So. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that because yeah. it's nothing like, you know, losing a yeah, parent. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That's heavy. But I, that was the last thing my mom was like, oh my God, I gotta be on the show. Like, you know, and speaking of that, like, you know, as a creator from, from as another creator, like, there is that will that you feel like I have to create yeah, no, yeah, in order yeah. to stay in the mm -hmm. algorithm because there are so many people waiting to take your spot. Right, like, yeah. Who's next? You know, do you feel like, because I feel like for me, like, it, it started to be at times, even now, like, it feels like the new nine to five. Like, I'm on this hamster yeah, you, wheel. You got to make content. it make sense. But it, but I also feel like I stopped working because I wanted the freedom. But then I become now a slave to the comments, the comments. and the people yeah, yeah, and the yeah. algorithm. And you have to tell yourself, you know what? I can't do this. Like, have yeah. you ever felt that way? I mean, like no, a slave I always, to the content? I feel, bitch. I'm, no, I don't because I'm not doing what I don't want to do. Okay. Like, but but I get it though. <laughs> <laughs> now now let's be clear. When 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 I first went viral on Vine, what? 11 years ago, I definitely felt like, oh, I got to post because I, I, like I said, I didn't know what the fuck, what, what, no, I don't think no one knew what was going on. Like, we didn't know that you can become famous off of an app. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Especially a six second app. So I didn't know. I'm, I'm just making videos, but I really felt like I got to post like every day, every day, every day. But let's be clear. After posting every day for a year straight, bitch, and, um, and then maybe taking a year off, and then maybe posting a video on TikTok and going viral. I felt like, oh, you know what, bitch? I, like, it's like, it's like this. People are in love with my personality. So that means that, bitch, I can make a video in two years, bitch, and go viral and still be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still get, you know what I'm saying? Plus, too, listen, me <laughs> getting surgery, I, I, honestly and truly, I have had so many uh, TV shows offer me to come to them because of me even having surgery. You know what I'm saying? Or, or just a lot of shit that, that or, or me being engaged. I'm saying, so it's like, you know. Well, you you keep opening it up. I would, let's get into that then. <laughs> because that, I mean, we did say we was going to talk about that, yeah. but I was just trying to ease you in there <laughs> because the, the next question I was going to kind of ask you, I had it written down. Mind you, this is my on my phone. Oh, so yeah. I was trying to kind of like 
you know, keep it real. <laughs> but, you know, but that kind of goes into, you know, um, the question is, how do you handle criticism, criticism and negative feedback in the comments? And what is the craziest thing you've heard about well, yourself? I, first of all, I, first of all, as far as the comments go, let me be frank, okay? No one has ever came to me in person and said what they would what, say what they said in the comments. That's one. Two is never from like a, a public page. Three is never from nobody fab. So it's giving mm. child. It's always giving a raggedy, dirty look. You you need surgery, child. You need to be asking me where I went. However, um, I don't give a fuck with them comments, child. And the, the craziest comment, I don't I think that the, the craziest thing I ever saw somebody put was some old ass gay man, sir. He put he he's, I will, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You do look better in person. The <laughs> surgery, like I, it looked. I'm. I gotta keep it real though. Like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't know if it's like the that, editing when, 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 or when what you use, crazy to me. but sometimes it don't be looking that good. Really? Oh. But in person, it looks proportioned. Yeah, so that's what yeah. I told you. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think that too. So I it was somebody said I got surgery to keep up with the. With the younger gays, but I'm like, is I didn't, I didn't, is that why people get surgery? I didn't no. know the thing. Well, no, so I said I got no job. I, said, I didn't know that's why people got no job. I'm like, bitch, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so what all have you got done? So I got, <laughs> <laughs> we, we got the teeth. I mean, yeah, I got my teeth done, but, okay. but I did not need my teeth done. No, let's be quite, let's be clear. <laughs> now, but but I did get um, I got my teeth done. I got um, where'd you um, go to get the teeth? Columbia. Oh, who'd you go to? So one of my really good friends, her name is Lily Clark Medical. Hey, sis. She is a really fab um, place there. Your teeth look great too. I went to I went to Columbia too. You did? Mm -hmm. Which part of Columbia? Um, Cali. Oh my! See, I would never go to Cali. Yeah, Cali's a... giving refugee camp child. I went baby, to Cartagena, was... baby. It was really <laughs> relaxed, child. It was giving look the spa. Oh, <laughs> Cali! Holy smokes! Yes, oh, I went in my it, life. Was, it was crazy. Now, but ooh. the teeth are good though. They're yeah, good. The teeth look good, yeah. But Cali, but baby, ooh, I almost child. lost my life out there. I'm not ooh. even gonna hold you. But listen, it's giving y'all too sobby. I don't got the time for no for no Cali. It was child. twelve. I got twelve at the top. Twelve mm, in the yeah, back. Yeah, me as well. For you a good porcelain, right? Porcelain. No resin. Bitch, if you still if you got veneers and you have resin in your mouth, take them out. <laughs> a lot of girls well, like no, to talk. Listen, and you girls are walking fun. around with resin in your mouth. But, but only, but if that's what y'all can afford, go with that child. Well, girl, don't come over but here talking about what my teeth look oh, like. Oh, yeah, baby, I, I agree. Yeah. Don't come over here reading me with resin in your mouth. Yeah, because I'm definitely a porcelain kind of girl. However, yeah. though, um, and I got my nose done. Well, I got a, 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 a now, rhinoplasty. Now, the nose is crazy. An okay. Now, why, how did removal. you do that? Um, so, what's crazy is that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't stand no, you, bitch. Why, why? <laughs> <laughs> no. Why are you fucking? No. No, be, because, so, to be frank, right? Okay. I went to Turkey to get a hair transplant, right? Oh, I want to go there, too. It's no yeah, tea. Yeah, you was funny. We got to talk about that. And look, but I got the people that did, I got, like, the, the now, translator. Look, serious. No, I got like, the I'm translator. I got you. Okay, so look. So I'm going to tell you to get his job. I was not going to get a nose job when I was there. But I have, I won't say my friend's name who went with me, but two of my friends went with me. And they got nose jobs. And I'm an Aries, so I'm very impulsive. So I was like, shit, I, should, I, should I get a nose job while I'm here? Just, just playing with my homegirl. Uh, and I was talking to my translator. So the next day, he had set up appointments for me to go like, to look the different doctors, right? Uh -huh. The first place that we went to, I didn't even tell nobody's story yet. First place we went to, and people think I'm lying about this, but no. We went to a, a hospital, right? And a cat fell out the ceiling. Mm. But but we're in a third world country though, yeah. so, so people are like that happened. Like bitch, we're in a third world country. Like yeah, so they have clean places, but they also places that aren't like. So we went to that place. I scratched off the list. Next place we went to the, the doctor. Now I don't, his energy wasn't really, but I thought it was gonna give. Yeah. The next place, um, oh, no, I said I said well I'm done. I was telling my transfer that. So so the next morning he hit me like hey I got one more place for you to try. We're gonna try to see what the doctor uh -huh. gives. Went to the doctor. The doctor was great, like great energy. Uh, and the doctor said if you can stay like three more, if you can stay for another week. I'll do it on on. I'll come in on Sunday and do it for you. So I stayed for a week. I did it on that Sunday, um, and then um. So, but I, I didn't know like what you have to get done. Like when you get a nose job, you, you have to like listen. You get a nose job, you have to get um, you have to wear like um mm. like like nostril holders right to keep it the way it's supposed to look. Your nostrils supposed to look when you when you first get it done right. You put a lot of people do that that they didn't tell me to do when when I got up when when I, when I finished the surgery. So I went to I came back home or whatever um and then. Years later, my nostrils, they weren't as big as they were, but they weren't what I wanted them to be. So I went and got an alar plasty. Like, What's an alar plasty? They just take the nostrils down only. Oh, that's a nostril team. Yeah. So I got I did both. So but Ooh. but but however though, if I would have known I would have had to wear a, a, a nostril retainer, my nostril would have been fine. Anyway. I got an alar plasty. And then I got a, a buckle fat removed. I got the fat taken out of oh, my, right my cheeks. Yeah. Oh, okay. But see, but I, I didn't so get is but, filler but, here? But, but no. So so I didn't get nothing done to my to this at all. Okay. I got the fat taken out of here. 
Mm, but you know when this comes in, good. it gives you a little contour mm-hmm, vibe. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, but I I, I want to get my my jawline done, but you could use a little filler. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'll have your, oh, you I got, might. Oh, you got you a little coin. I mean, something like I mean, just like you. No, let's be clear. You look. You, you, got, you got a place that <laughs> town on the Hollywood stab child, <laughs> no, no. and the word on the street is like the, the, the Hollywood place is real cute. That's what the girls are saying, child. Girl, they say a lot of things about me, girl. But so it's not true. No, you know, it's listen. Nice, I can tell. You got your little <laughs> little um eyes on. No. Mm-hmm. So Look, listen, she's done smiling. Listen. So listen, your child's team. So when you do the like, when you do the nose, like, can you do poppers and stuff, or you don't do that stuff? Um, I guess I can do it. I've you know what I'm saying? Like, you I'm know what I mean? Like, how does that? It works just the same as yours, bitch. I mean, let's, let, let's be clear. Look, bitch, look, look, I, look. They didn't give me a dog nose, bitch. They gave me a regular. But nose, I'm just saying, does it correct anything? Because like, no, I got sleep I, I acne. Actually, so. to be to be frank. Bitch, do you I breathe sh- better with the new nose? No, I actually can't smell. However, oh, but 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 you know yeah. what's funny? I don't know why though. Like I can smell that person. I don't know I can't smell no more. Got cold. No, I don't know why I can't smell no more. Bitch, it's like hmm. no, no, no. I can smell before I got the, before I got the alar plasty. Bitch, now it's giving shot enough is enough. No, like mind you, I was cooking. I was cooking the other day, and my, and then look, my, my look, and look, and look. My friend Joseph was at, was at the house, and he said something burning. I was giving. Oh, I didn't even smell it. And I went to the to the uh, the oven, like oh shit, it's burning. <laughs> Intense child, yeah. What is this tattoo right here? Um, it says peace of mind. I, I got a tan while I've been so you can't. I have a tattoo right here. Oh, okay, peace of mind. Yeah, so speaking of peace of mind, I like that. So, what is the day in the life for you, like routine wise, when you're creating content? Like, do you I meditate? Do oh, you so, manifest? Yeah. Do, yeah. You, do you get into any spiritual things yeah, like so that? I'm, I'm a, a spiritual person, so I wake up, I'm gonna pray, then I meditate. So, but see, I don't okay, so I don't do like now, maybe I should get on a routine or a schedule when it comes to content. I, I don't do that, I literally just okay. think about some shit and make a video. I kind of do that too. I'm yeah, not hold you. I, I, but I love that you have the little the platform to you know do the thing that's fab for you. But what I'm and saying, the people love you on like YouTube and stuff. The people always say like, "Oh my God, you and I'm on." Uh, everybody doesn't love me. Yeah, okay, yeah. people love to hate me. So let I me think ask you a Okay, go ahead. So 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 like like what influence? Let me ask you a question too. Do you feel like because because I don't feel like when everyone calls themselves an influencer. I don't feel like that's a thing. I feel like bitch like or, or public figure. I be trying to figure like what. Public, you to figure out, child, that you go to the public, or, or that you're an influencer. Like, I don't feel like everyone is an influencer. I feel like people are creators, not influencers. Uh, I feel like you could be an influencer. I just feel like that's a title now, but I definitely feel like. No, no, no. I'm talking about, do you feel like the people now are. You, oh, you, that, that, like, oh, now, the people feel, now. Nah, I feel like like everyone's not an influencer. But, no, everyone's not an influencer yeah, yeah, yeah. now. No, I don't know. Me, like, now I'm just, not discussing me, sweetie. These, a lot of these girls can thank me, bitch. They, they can bow yeah, down. Yeah. However, we're not discussing me. We're talking about them. Yeah. Uh, a <laughs> lot of people just have followers. A lot of people just are so, social media popular. I guess they would be called influencers. So, what, what, so, so, so like, like, what about the girls on TikTok? You know how I like on TikTok? My name is like Dre. She's like, 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 Corporate baddie, I think she's fab. Oh, I think she's so she's cute. She's so fab. Yeah, I like I, her. Listen, I she really has, she like has the him. Bag. She's a fab girl. I really like him, and I think that he's so beautiful. Like his skin. Yeah, she's a like fab I got girl. a baby crush on him because he's so cute. I don't have a crush on him, but she's fab. But like in the in the in the, in the like the yeah. in the content and the like, okay, bitch, I see you. No, and you're a, a young girl, girl and you're doing your thing. Then, yeah, she's fab. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were talking about the Beagle girl, but I like her Who? too, Dre Who? from Beagle. Hmm. Well, you know, I, I like all the girls. Yeah, okay. I I'm here for. All the younger girls doing their but thing. But no shade to Dre. I, I don't know what it is. And I just feel but like... I, I like the Beagle people, too. I'm not on Beagle. Speaking of Beagle, bitch, that, that's where they thought you... Mean. Remember, you were supposed to fight me. Yeah, now Because the the, I was on Beagle. No, that's what the girl said. They, <laughs> I, I was supposed like, to slap the show just last time. Like, like, yeah. However, like, the... Um, but 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 it's funny because they, they kept tagging you, and then when I said it, they giving it to him. I'm like, bitch, y'all so trifling. Mind you. But honestly, truly... But you know what's funny, though? But that was a lesson... For, for for me though, but 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 I'm in a space where I'm growing. But that was a lesson for me that I should have reached out like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And plus, I don't really talk about people like that. Um. Okay. Well, I don't. Okay. But but, but aren't you on like some people? A lot of influencers don't like you, or creators don't like you because you talk, you talked about them. No. But like they said that like, Big Sexy don't like you because you talked about them. Well, yeah. I love Big Sexy. That's my girl. Uh, well, girl, tell her to wipe her ass. So, and right, don't so tell you the were public. talking about her then, right, bitch. girl? You got online and said that no, you so, don't. So, no, no, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I keep. I'm she saying, but is, you just. She was news. But time out. <laughs> but wait, girl, time out. But wait, if you got online tomorrow and so. talked about how you didn't, how you wipe, don't wipe your ass, and sometimes you keep shitting your ass and go to a booking. I don't give a fuck if you sit here or not. I'm gonna be like, girl, don't you do that? Well, well okay, no, I'm that's saying disgusting. This, but I'm saying this though. You just said I don't talk about nobody. It's well, I know, but but I I mean I did because in that moment, girl. So you talk about people, that bitch. But, right? Yeah, but girl, not just I don't just go out of my way 
and just to try to like, you know, demean people. But girl, if it's news, girl, and you got this woman toting around here, toting around town with shit in her ass, yes. You found that to be offensive. I love Big Sexy. Hey. Um, but I, I do th- Listen, I like Big Sexy too. I tried to get her on but the she call. But like you. <laughs> she said some type of way. <laughs> she over it. But I mean, okay, Big Sexy, you know I love you. Now, you can't say something and then get mad with somebody. Well, you can't get mad because you you can do what you want to do. But I feel like you you say something out loud, people are going to... It was, it was like a controversial kind of um, topic. Girl, it was going viral. A grown-ass man said that she walk around and, you know, she's, and all, I simply said, girl, you're a big girl. You know what I mean? Bigger girls, you So really she have- was smallish, then it'll be okay? No, but it's even worse when you're a big girl. Mm. That's a lot. You can't be walking around like that, mm. given all that. No, absolutely not. And even if you do, you don't take say that out loud, girl. I mean, yeah, I get it. By it yeah. yeah, that's a lot. But I like Big Sexy. I, I really love, love Big, big sexy. sexy. I like everybody. Mm. I like Big Sexy. I like Saucy. I like I like all of the girls. Mm. I'm here for <laughs> community. Right, yeah. Yeah. But you're going to say what you want to say. Not to just be mean, though. I mean, yeah, well, I think the delivery was kind of mean. Like, girl, you a big girl. You cannot be. That was me. <laughs> no. Girl, no. you know damn well. There's a way to no. say it. You could have said it in a different kind of way. That was she me, got bitch. That re- no, she got that read because then she got online. Ow. I'm just say? like, that's. Wait, I'm just like. Up. So you know, I'm she, just like. But so what did she say? She got all like. Ah, 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 and I'm just like, for me. My girl had to give you a, a rebuttal. Yeah, I, but I didn't say it in a master. Like, I'm going no, no, to no, just say this in the nicest way I can possibly say this. And I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I'm not. I'm never in competition with girls like that. Yeah. Girls like that have to rely on being funny. I've never been that kind of girl. So I don't have to battle you. I wasn't trying to come at you to be nasty or rude. I understand where you are. I understand yeah. your character. But I'm just saying, you don't have to give all that to make your way. Sometimes certain girls feel like I have to be the handbag. I have to be fat and funny, and I got to be this just so I can get attention. I'm just like, girl, you don't have to spill all your tea. Right. You can just say. What it is. So she started doing all the extra shit. And I'm just like, baby, you could have been like, you didn't like that, but I'm not gonna get performative with you because it's like, I don't I can't battle you because girl, you're gonna win because I'm not about to give all that. Mm. I'm gonna sit back, girl, but I understand where you're coming from. You gonna sit back because they said that that you're a top, right? Listen, baby. Mm. They say, I mean, you know, I don't know. What are you? I'm a virgin, sweetie. Girl, these shorts are telling a different story. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> These shorts <laughs> are <weird. laughs> Baby. So, okay, let, let me get a part of that. Okay, so to be, to be frank, right, so I think an emotional connection is more important than physical, right? So I'm not really a sexual person, but it, but I'm, I'm, I, I do verse stuff from time to time okay. when I feel like it makes sense, you know? But I'm really B-U-I sexual. So you just like to lay and, and t- cut on and talk and stuff? Yeah, and talk about, like, maybe, like, you can tell me, like, you know, give me, like, the... Back of your credit card number. Oh my god! Oh, I like yeah, something like that. Yeah. So if a man come mm-hmm. in right now, what is what is the ideal man? What does he look like? What is his mannerism? So, okay, so he doesn't have to look like. So I, I'm not like wrapped up on the feminine masculine thing. It's not a thing. Like whatever. Like I feel mm-hmm. like now, granted, you can't come in here, girl, with a purse giving ah, girl, like it's giving ah, but sis, but still, but no, yeah, I'm not like oh my god, you got to look like a certain way. Now, granted though, I mean, I like men that make it make sense. You know what I'm saying like I think that that um, how to say this. And hold on, because I'm not talking about a nigga you fuck with, a nigga you go on a date with. I'm talking about I'm well, going to engage well. myself with this person. I'm going to build a family. What is what does that energy look like for right, you? Right, yeah. No, the energy looks like a man that it's not cheap. That's pretty much it, bitch. A man that's going to pay for shit, make it make sense. Oh, we can pay. Listen, so and you want to feel like fish? No, no. So I want to feel like this. So let, this is, let me be frank. So my <laughs> one of my oldest, I have 14 siblings, right? One of my sisters was, was discussing oh this earlier, God. right? That oh. when I was 16, I was dating this guy named Marco, right? He was 30. But Marco was cashing me out, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, like buying me Louis Vuitton and shit. I remember my father was like, my father was like, who? Um, he asked me about the bag, and I was giving this fake. My father was saying, you don't have a job, so whether the bag, he kept saying, like, whether it's fake or not, how do you pay for it? Like, you have to pay for it somehow. And I kept mm-hmm. saying, I don't found it. Anyway, so um, I always had, like, you know, like, and then, like, when I was, like, 20, a nigga, like, bought me a car. It was, like, I always had, like, a nigga, like, buy stuff, but not because, like, but I could buy stuff, too, for them. Like, now we both are there. Like, I was one of the man that makes sense for me. Like, we both, you know what I'm saying, buy each other shit, you know what I'm saying, make it make sense, but we buy what we both feel like we both deserve that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and so outside of that, what else do he give you? No, he gives me, like, like a... Like a, emotional uh, no, like a, like a, a touching no, no, like a like a man that's maybe masculine and feminine. You know what I'm saying? You know? Okay. Mm-hmm. And I love uh, a good between myself. Yeah, yeah. And a man that um that that we can have you know intelligent conversations. You know, uh, of you know he wants to, he's not all about sex. Like we don't have to have sex every night. It's not like about it's more so like a, like I said about emotional connections 
as opposed to physical. Is he a more dominant energy or mm. is he more submissive energy? He can be both. Primarily what? Um, maybe primarily dominant. Okay. Yeah. I figured that. That's but, what I, that, but, and I feel like that looks good on you yeah, because you can't have, I mean, you could, but I just feel like you have like a big personality. Yeah, no, I, of, I, I, I feel one. like a man that, this, that, 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 I feel like if you let me, I'll walk over you. So make it make Now, sense. let me ask you this. Does he need, now, does he need to be in your in enter, entertainment business? Or no, out? no, no, no. You don't, no, he you, can be in either. He can do either or it's fine. Yeah, I don't know if I, will, if I would ever date somebody in entertainment. See, I don't so, know. Thing, so I don't, I don't know. It depends. I feel like, because a lot of these gay people, they want to be famous so bad now. It's like, mm. oh, girl, like, now I got to do it. And, and it's so embarrassing. Like, bitch, like, imagine we do a show together, bitch, and you behind the scenes saying this. It's like, too much. like, like. Let's get into that. So, I mean, for me, it's ha it's happened. I don't know if it's happened to you, but um, on the rise or whenever you got, you know, some sort of public notoriety, like, I feel like things changed around you. Like, people, like, yeah. dating, friends, try to but, but, change. And, but they the, try to the, and, Have you ever went through that? Yeah, but, the, the, but the, like, the friendship is weird because people tell themselves a lot, tell people all the time, right? Literally, this is what people do to me, right? They, they'll tell me out of nowhere. I'm not your friend because you're famous or because you're a child. It's like, I never even said you were a bitch. But thanks for letting me know that that's where my friend Because it's like, bitch, if I never, like, like my real friends never ever be like, I'm your friend because it's like, we, we never had those kind of conversations yeah. because of the fact that, that I know that for a fact that you're not my friend because of that. But the people who say it to me, like, every time they get drunk, they're like, oh, I'm your friend because I just love you. It's like, yeah. I, it's like well, sweetie, let's be clear. Look, I didn't say otherwise. Why are you, uh, are you trying to convince me that or you that? However... Um, and I have, like, friends that, that, that don't get it. The fact that, listen, bitch, we can't do oh the shit that, that, that we used to do before I was, um, oh, a public figure. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we can't, I can't do the same shit no more. I can't be in the middle of the dance floor, look, grabbing dicks, bitch, like I used to do, bitch, yes. now. Because everybody's yes. somebody gonna tell somebody. But people don't get that. But it's crazy to me that people don't, oh, is this a gnat? I don't know what that is. Yes, it probably is. But people okay. don't, it's fine. People don't understand that it's like, bitch, I, I can't do this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Or I, also, I don't want to fight no more, bitch, because now it's different. You know what I'm saying? But, Whatever. Yeah, I, I experienced that a lot, but whatever. So, like... But, but people don't get in that, because, listen, once you get into the industry, right, and you only have industry friends, people be so... People are so confused by that, but it's like, listen, because y'all don't get it, like, the way that shit works now. Like, I have a friend, I have a friend for, like, maybe 12 years. We're not friends anymore. However, he was mad about this statement. So we had... Um, this is when I first got famous on Vine, right? We had all planned a trip to Miami. And I said, oh, um... I called him and said, hey, did you, did you get your ticket yet? And he said, oh, we all can't be famous like you and just book, book a mm. ticket. But I'm like, bitch, I, so I said, what? I said, well, sorry, look, that you have to work your nine to five. But I but I was saying that based on his reply. Like, bitch, I wasn't saying like there's nothing wrong with working nine to five. I'm saying, bitch, my bad that you had to work nine to five because what does that energy even come from? But he was mad about that for like years after and I said that. And they feel like you're a narcissist. Yeah, yeah. But 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 it's like, girl, you started it, bitch. All I asked you was, did you get a ticket? The answer was yes or no. But you know what that is? That comes from their insecurity. Exactly. Yeah. That's the insecurity. So mm -hmm. that has happened well, to me. Well, you said they too. understand that one, that once you get in the industry, you start having industry friends only, and people think it's like say no, but just because my the people in the industry, they get it. Like the shit. That I can't come to or the shit that I don't want to come to. That, like, you understand. And it's one of those things that, like, have you ever had somebody try to expose you? Like, have you fell out with mm -hmm. one of your friends that you thought was, like, going to be along for the ride? Yeah, and but then... see, now, as far as exposure goes, you can't expose me. I, don't, I, don't, I dead ass don't give a fuck. Like, bitch. Like, so everybody that you came in the game with as your friends, they, st they stayed? and they no, did, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. A lot of them are gone. But okay. that's because they started acting and I was acting differently, but I wasn't. Like, like, have so you ever been called a narcissist? No, I've been, Have you ever been stuck called up self, a lot. Self-absorbed? Maybe yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Arrogant? No, I don't, I don't recall. Yeah. No, I'm just saying that, that. that's usually terminology that gets yeah. thrown around mm -hmm. by some people. I, mean, I think that people, I, I don't know. I think that like even that like like people that call me stuck up, that's a little weird. Do you ever feel like, you know, do you ever have people around you that Feel like they get upset because they feel like you're supposed to put them on. Have you ever experienced that? Like so I you're supposed to share their music or talk about this or share like. Do you well, feel obligated that, to do that for I your friends? No, I feel like this. Right, a lot of people. Do, do, I had. So, and should a person feel obligated to do that? No. So <laughs> years ago, I had told my friends. This is when Cardi B first was coming out, right? Well, she first was. Out. She was. She hosted a club in DC. I told my friends. I, I was like, listen, I'm not hosting a club, so I cannot get all eight of us in for free. I was like, but like we'll make it make sense, right? We get so I told them prior to arrival. We get to, to the club. They were already there. They jump out the line and follow me in or come behind me. The promoters like I can't get all eight of you guys. You in with him? And I, which I already said prior to right. So um, 
I'm, but I'm looking at them thinking that, oh, this should be an issue because I already told y'all before we arrived that I can't get all, all y'all in, in with me for free. Mm -hmm. So I go in uh, and I told him, I said, listen, once you guys get in, bitch, um, well, I could have maybe got two of y'all in, but now it's 80 all together. He, it's different. But um, I said, once I get in, I'll bring y'all in VIP with me because Cardi was like, it was cool. Mm -hmm. However, they end up leaving. And then the next day, I was telling them how the night was. And one of my, my friends said, oh, well, I wish I was there. I said, bitch, <laughs> but you could have been there, bitch, you left. I told y'all after prior to arrival, I cannot get all y'all to cover me for free that I'm not hosting. Child, I don't feel obligated to do shit. Let's be clear. These a lot of people who who ain't help you accomplish shit are the ones they be given who feel obligated to do shit for them that they didn't even help you get to. It's like, bitch, no. Okay, and okay. let me ask you this: like, when it comes to the industry friends, though, do you really feel like you can have friends in the industry? Yeah, so I can. So like, like Tammy Rivera and I, are best friends since right. we were like like sixteen years. That's my sister. Um, Bambi's my girl. Like Sean O'Neill. I mean, there's a, a myriad of other people who I'm friends with in, in the industry, especially like the ones like, like so when my, my mom passed away, who text me personally, like Juju, like a lot of people, like um, like Crystal Smith, you know, like I have a lot of industry friends. My friend um, Isaiah Joseph, like, you know, uh, my friend, Wild, and I have a lot of friends in the industry who I feel like yeah, those are my, my friends in the industry. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. glad that, because I was waiting, because I was like, you named a lot of women, and I feel like women you know, I have are supporters. A lot of ma uh, male friends. Because I feel like yeah. a lot. I feel like. Do you like, feel oh, like so, gay or my, more? My, my friend, um, like Alonzo Arnold, that's my baby. Okay, okay, um, okay. Like Perez is my baby. Yeah, oh, okay, I love yeah, them. Yeah. I mean, there are others too. So I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting some names, but yeah. Okay, and that's cool because the, uh, Perez kind of similarly does kind of. He's a personality too. Yeah, so, yeah, I love Perez. You know what I mean? Perez so, was like one of the first too. Do you? Yeah, I, one I, of the. I, yeah, Perez was definitely one of the yeah, first. Yeah, I always name Perez. I, um, when when people like mentioned oh, when I do interviews, I always name Perez. Yeah. So when it comes to that, like, do you feel like you know it's easy to have friends kind of in this in your same lane? Like, are you friends with any of the people from 2015 that kind of came? Upon yeah, that yeah. Like Katie, you know, Katie is my girl. It's my bitch. We we uh -oh. we did something for um, was it oh, stars together? Mm -hmm. Um. I was Landon. No, not Landon. Well, Landon Ramon, I don't like him, so no. What about like Kendall, Quay? I love Kendall. Love, I love Kendall. I see Kendall all the time. Love Kendall. Love Quay. Yeah, I love um, them too. Yeah, yeah. I'm um like like Pat D. Lucky is good too. Like um yeah, I, I love Kendall and I. Uh, Jess, B. Simone. I feel like I found all you guys during that Jess, area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I found all of y'all around. Yeah, that Jess time. is. My, I love. I like Jess too. Yeah. Yeah, I like how Jess. Is. Shout out to Jess because she and Jess is making it make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jess making it make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Now, going back to like the clubs and the promotions, have you ever felt like <laughs> don't play with me with my coins? Like, um, do you feel like these promoters so or they me, they try to book you and they try to like they love you, they love you until you tell them what your fee is? Have so you ever ran into that that the promoters will do right? They'll, they'll do that. So, you know, the people love saying, like, "Oh my god!" Like, like you're not popping as you, as you once were, right? But still want me to be on the flyer and, and post. So I always say this, bitch. So you want me to post myself? Uh, post a fire with me on the saying I'm coming to the club, bitch, but you don't feel I need to get paid. That don't, that don't make sense to me. Like, bitch, if, and they be like, well, look, well, the crowd gonna be there anyway. Well, let it be there. Fuck you, put me. What you want me to post it for then? <laughs> and so, what do you say to that when they be like, well, Shy, you kind of fell off. I, you're not mm. popping. Like, you're not. It's not. No, I mean, you I used just, like I said, I feel like anyone can reinvent themselves. And I also feel like this. Like, let's be clear. What is what is the definition of falling off? Like, you mean, like, bitch, let's be clear. Who can, um, just like like everybody in the entertainment goes through a time where they were once when they first started they were popping 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 right and then you kind of somebody else came and they were booked. I'm saying like like no one to me who's like who did like who's social media um, famous or whatever right is still like heavily booked today. You know what I'm saying it's like bitch you like oh unless the ones that just came out. You know what I'm saying but it's, it's not it's not a thing like it's like and people who who said I fell off never even fell on. It's like bitch who are you? Like it's bitches who who have never did anything, who have never accomplished nothing I've ever accomplished. They be like talking shit. It's like, girl, you're not important to me <laughs> or <Okay>. anyone else. <laughs> yeah, like what is fall off? And, and also too, it's like what like the girls. But I do think you got. I do think that you can fall off. No, I, I, I think you can fall off. But I feel like this though. Anyone who was once very very popular, you can reinvent yourself. Yeah, but at the same time, I think there's something very pivotal. And maybe I don't know if you discussed it with your fans and stuff, but like. Going through with that battle, that cancer battle with your mother will yeah. affect anybody. Right, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So at no, that I, point, I, I like, you know what I mean? Listen, so, but I'm not like, oh, I got to tell you what happened. Like, I'm but I'm like, I feel like that even happened to homegirl. Oh, the wig. Oh, my God. I, bitch, I done forgot the name. Joanne the Scammer. 
Oh yeah, no, but see, but listen though. But, you, but it's how I love Joanne, cause cause Joanne can post a video to go viral. That if Joanne wanted to make it make sense, she could. But Same I feel me. like he went through a lot. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was one of those but situations. I mean, Joanne kind of explained it. I, you the first time I've told people on your show. I never discuss it because I feel like whatever. Well, but it makes a lot of sense though, mm-hmm. and I just think that like you, it's, it's kind of hard to say somebody fell off when they're like going through a lot of things in their yeah, personal life. Yeah, yeah. So you never really know what a person's right, going right. through because yeah, I don't. Yeah. Even, if something happened to my mama right now, you are gonna say I fell off, and I'm not even gonna see that you said right, I fell off because yeah, I don't I give don't a. See, I'm saying you. Mm-hmm. I don't even see what you're saying. You right. know what I mean? But I think that it's great that you've accomplished so much from books to television. You've yeah. done things that a lot of people can never say that they, they, they've they yeah. done. I mean, I, I just did a show. Really? What's it? What's it? Look bold and bougie, but um, what is Carlos. bold and bougie? So Carlos King show. I love Carlos King. He gave me a shout out. So I, I, I love King. Carlos. So I like Carlos, Carlos King. Shows, um, Crystal, Malaysia, Tamika Raymond, mm-hmm. um, Gaucher, and Princess, who was one of the creators of Housewives. Uh-huh. And um, another princess and myself. We, we, we shout out to Carlos show. King. Hey, I love bro. Carlos. Yeah, Carlos, my baby. Yeah, we we filmed the show. It, matter of fact, it, it was airing while my mom. Matter of fact, when she passed. Yeah, he hit me up during the whole Fox Soul debacle. Oh, yeah. So let me yeah. ask you this. Can I yeah. ask you a question? Yeah, I knew you was going to want to get into that. So I had, you see how I led you into that? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Go ahead and get it out. Okay, because, so this is the board on the curb is that, um, well, let mm. me ask you, because I, I thought it was so rude of you to do that to, to um, Al. Now, you, you don't were, believe that. No, you, I do. You, you, I, I, you, thought you guys, I thought you guys were at least really? cool. You guys were cool, huh? You know what? I'm going to be all, all the way honest with you. Yeah, please do. I really thought we was going to get into it today. Who? Be, you, me, you and I? All of us. Why? Because... When I asked you who was coming, you was like Isaiah, and then you had panned over, and I thought the driver was Al. I'm like, bitch, am I gonna have to slap her today? Oh, because no. it's well, I'm not Al. I would, I would never do that. <laughs> First of all, he's not the driver. <laughs> no, my no, friend. Yeah, your friend. <laughs> but I'm like, because I, I thought y'all was, you said Isaiah. So I was like, is this an Uber? But then he was like, no, no but no, I, I told you. I, I, and I'm I, like, that kind of, it was a quick one. So I don't think that you him, but I was like, bitch, that look like. Oh, because the hair, my FaceTime. It, yes, I'm like, is that? I'm like, I know she did not bring Al yeah, up here. I, I, I don't know Al. <laughs> I'm like, oh, these girls are really carrying today. Yeah, but no, I said, let I me don't, go no, back I to don't the... even, No, no, I don't even know Al personally. <laughs> I, like, I just really saw, get into I it. saw the, the clips online oh, of you. <laughs> um, I was like, oh wow, this is intense. No, okay, so anyway, here's my. I mean, I can show you better than I can tell you. At the end of the day, um, I'll just put it like this, like. I love. <laughs> why, why are you gagging? You get your key off of me. Because you, keep going, child. <laughs> yeah, girl. Ah. No, because here's the thing. I don't ever have no beef with nobody. Ever. Well, no, of, you, you are such a fun person. But a lot of the girls would like to make it seem like I have beef with them. Okay, it's one thing to have an opinion and you don't like me. Those are people that have, you know, yeah. rightfully so I can respect that. And I understand that, and we can make that work. I'm good with that. <laughs> what I can't take is a hater. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And so a lot of these girls, is, and it's like a lot of gays, and this is why I stay away from really? them. Really? The gay this one? Some of these, especially well, when not. we get into this space, a lot of these girls, they fill away. and but, but, but that's because a lot of them want to be famous. Which now, is a so lot weird. of these girls were fat. As kids, a lot of these girls are barely making it in their 50s. And they're afraid when the new girls come up, and they're just so you're they talking about to Al, get, bitch. No, I'm not. Playing. I'm, 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 I'm not talking bitch. about a couple of bitches. Okay, so but, okay, but you definitely. But in, no, in regards to Al, <laughs> girl, not they were not they were fat when they were younger. You know that girl was big before. Was she? Yeah, uh, I never knew. Oh Al no, was big. maybe that was Star Jones' his wife. Oh, she was. Big. Girl, she was big. No, yeah, okay. so I'm gonna honestly tell you, but it's 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 when the girls are fake. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna just show you. Now you're not gonna read this. But I'm just going to show you, this is the kind of shit that I don't like. Okay. Okay. And so um, I'm just going to give you, and I never put this out, but I want you to get this real quick. So come lean in close. So this is on March 17th, right? There's a text message being sent. I got it. I have a brilliant idea. Let You see that? Okay. That's to somebody on the team. Mind you. The 18th, you're cuddled up with me, with Monifa, and your king, and your this, and that. Now, the next day, read that. Not out loud. Not out loud. That's the next day. And mind you, me and you had keyed last Sunday. So, Mm -hmm. you know, me and her, we carried hard. And girl, that was was to Claudia. Because Claudia didn't like me at the time. Girl, you were trying to set up a meeting to get me fired. And you had the meeting. This intense shot. You had, but girl, Holy, but, Jesus you, but you, but that's just like me, King, in your face last Sunday yeah, yeah, and yeah. reading you. Right, yeah. 
I don't like bitches like that. If you don't like, I like a bitch. Like, the reason why I respect Claudia and I'm always going to respect her because she told me, bitch, I don't like you. But no, because she's an Aries like me. But I respect the upfront bitch. Yeah. I don't like no girl that's going to act like they like me. I think that's intense. And then stab me in my back. I don't fuck with that because it's like, we don't have to like, we don't have to like each other. Because baby, I don't, if I don't like you, I don't like you. But I'm never a person. First of all, there's not one hoe on this platform in this world that I feel like, oh, girl, that's going to shake me, that I feel like, oh, girl, I'm intimidated by you, or like right, I feel like, yeah. I, you know, I got to hate on you. But then it's like another thing, it's like I'm never going to be so desperate and so petty to try to get somebody fired and yeah. then put out lies. But y'all never put out a lie on a person. So, girl, she put out that lie. I read her behind the scenes, <laughs> and I told her... Don't you read you? it on the scenes, too, though. That was because nothing was done behind the scenes. Mm, and so, girl, now you want to perform because she's a Gemini two. like me. So I'm going to show Gemini. you how to perform because she was performing around Did town. you a May Gemini or June Gemini? I'm a June Gemini. Mm. So she was performing around town telling the girls that I slept with the producer. Oh, holy smokes. Is yes. that true? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. And it's no shade, but girl, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But absolutely Wait, so you not. Were... <laughs> Why are you see this? Is like <laughs> no way. Because, <laughs> girl. <laughs> uh, what? You're funny. Why? No, it's, it's no just, shade. I mean, yeah. It's, it's you know yeah. what I mean. It's like it's not really. It's not giving that. Mm -hmm. Even if it was to give that, it's not giving that. Mm -hmm. It's no shade. I mean, no, I think that your personality got you the job. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that was the problem because she had a lot of the people was was gagging because the first day, I mean, maybe the first two weeks, I had got a music segment because I talk a lot about a music, a lot mm -hmm. about, about music. You like music. So she felt some type of way. She had gave. Oh, you have, and she did this on air. Who's she? Al. Oh, okay. oh you have a music segment. This oh, on air. She Oh, it took me four years to get my segment. I'm like, well, I, I think she probably was being facetious then. She girl, was. the same night that we went out, I was talking to her and I was like, hey, you know, we're doing a lot of talking about, you know, this is like kind of like during Women's History Month and Black History Month. I was like, we've done a lot of stuff about, here's the thing, and black women, please don't feel any kind of way. But I just, during that time, I just kind of felt like we were talking a lot, a lot about black women and their problems and everything that they had going on. Mm. And even during Black History Month, I feel like we didn't highlight any LGBTQ people right, yeah. in history, and I feel like we never do. So I said, I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to Ow. see if we talk. No, I can't wait to see what the network does for Pride Month oh, let me get in it. regards to black LGBT talent. Mm. Because, you know, Pride Month and Music Month, or Black Music Month is the same mm. month. So I was like, I wonder if yes, they're going to make it right. about Black Music Month and then get the gays out of here. So he was like, well, did you tell such and such about it? I was like, yeah, I did kind of bring it up to him. He was like, oh, I'm sure it'll be done by next week. And so I'm the kind of girl like, <laughs> mind you, we out, at, we, out at, we out at the bar, Ken. But so I'm the person like, I'm a very clever and sharp bitch. So I'm like, okay. So I laugh with you. I keep with you. But I put that in my back pocket. Like, okay, girl, I got to watch her. Right. I got to watch her. Because there's certain little things that she's saying. You got to you gotta watch a like, person. Right, and you girl. be like, oh, girl, mm -hmm. I'll keep with you. But, girl, I'm going to put that in my pocket because you feel some type of way. Yeah. And so it ended up that she was, if I find out she was trying to set me she up. Because my fans. You, you thought she felt away and she felt away. And yeah. And, girl, I met her where she was at. And at the end of the day, I when the whole roast thing happened, <laughs> I asked the management. <laughs> Did they want to hear it? And they gave yeah. And she said no. Oh, they said they said no. They said, listen, we just don't want you to mention Star Jones. Did you mention it? No. Okay. They said, and I said, would you like to hear the rest of the roles? They said, no, we trust that you're going to make it phenomenal. But the whole thing is, they were just like, girl, we need the ratings. We want you to crash out. We want you to, and I told you this. I said, I'm not about to crash out for this network, and y'all don't have my back. Right. You get what I'm saying? They be wanting the girl, they be wanting you to crash out. And so when I did it, Al felt away. Then she he felt away, yeah, child. But the girls didn't didn't catch the fact on you wouldn't call Funky Dineva. So, girl, you, I'm the type of person. Well, that no, well, well, I feel like he handled it well when you. You didn't handle that well. You, no, because no, you no, went no, and you no, went and no, called no, during the time. Like she, she was, did not. She got off the air and no, called Funky Dineva. No, I'm Dineva. saying while on what, what they showed on the blog, she was just like, oh, she acted like she was. Oh, girl, she got off that camera. Yeah, and no, carry. I remember they they show her. She called and Funky I, Dineva, right. Well, she well, she was she was pissed when we went to commercial. And I told her to pay. It. Yeah, but I'm saying, but on air though, she she gave very much like, oh, I love that. Yeah, she did give that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I told her, girl. But I told her, but when she did my roast, I said, girl, that's all you got. Yeah, I don't. Cause, cause I, I it wasn't knew. a roast to me. That was very much so a roast. No, I'm talking about the one she gave you. Wasn't she should have. She should have went harder. Yeah, because I, I had I, read I, her I like by then. Like, no, you roasted her, child. But I don't feel like she. We was already that. into it by the time she had roasted me. Right, we were yeah. in, we had been into it for months already because mm -hmm. she had been lying on me. Mm -hmm. So, but you should have known it was coming because mm -hmm. I cleared Claudia too slightly on her roast. But me and Claudia are cool. <laughs> That's my girl. But yeah. the whole thing is, I'm going to show you the messages, and there's no shade. 
We were cooking Claudia after he was sending that <laughs> stuff. Not Bitch, we're, all we're, the month of April, girl, we were tearing Claudia up because, girl, he had me thinking that she didn't like me oh and my. I didn't like her. So me and her were clearing each other back to back. And the whole time he was in the middle of it. So at the end of the day, oh my. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be on the show. It was it was a crazy. I think it, was, it was cute for your, your resume. You know what? I, I never want to do nothing like that again in the sense of coming in on a show especially because I don't know the different dynamics. So there was a point in time where I just kind of honestly felt like I was being pulled in between a rock and a hard place because I, I, you know, I never even had a welcome meeting. Like it was never even given like, Hey, our mom, welcome to the show. And here's, Girl, it was all like Claudia didn't like me first, so she was like, "Why is he here?" Then Al liked me because she didn't like me. Right, then yeah. once when her got cool, said, they, he didn't they, like they, me. I never got, I never even met everybody, uh, you know. And then you got this. You, then I come with my controversial people, so people are ready for it to fall because it's me, you know. It was just a mess, and so that. But I learned one thing during that time. Everybody was on my neck, so I was like, "Okay, when I get my commentary next time." I'm going to be a little bit softer because for the first time in my life, that's when I actually felt like a freaking celebrity because I was right, like, yeah. oh, I see how they feel when everybody is at them. I can't really give that. That's, that's me. When I first got my, my nose job, I was giving. I, I, I felt it. <laughs> and, and people are like, you soft now. I'm like, yeah, girl, I am a little soft now. Because I'm not soft now. I'm a little soft now because I just feel like I see what it gives, girl. I didn't like. I mean, no, I get it. I mean, I, like I said, I, I could. I mean, I, I was like, I get it because I feel like people don't be understanding shit. Like when I first mm. got my nose job, I had got paid like six thousand dollars to to do a promo, but I had just had my nose job maybe like a week before. <laughs> and honestly and truly, in my eyes, I thought I looked regular. I'm like, oh, this looks like. Uh, and the girl who's in my makeup was like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Bitch, I posted the video. I was reading the comments like, <gasps> even though it was like fucking like five thousand comments in like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, because of the nose. Mm -hmm. But I mean, honestly, when I looked at the video before the video that I posted, <laughs> I was like, "Why did I post this shit, child?" But girl, yeah, that's a lot of taste. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys figured that out. Yeah, we did figure it out. Let me get let me get let me get you into some more questions. Now I want to play a little <laughs> game of this and that. Okay, okay, cute. okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be a cute little game. Okay, all right. Um, this or that. Okay, and it can mean whatever or whatever. You decide what it means. It's gonna be quick. Okay, <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Okay, this or that. Saucy Santana or Little Nas X. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know what? You fall out um, like so that. So to be frank, no. I like Saucy's music a little better. Like some of his, uh, I do like Little Nas X music, but I like Saucy music. He has like the work your um, way through it. Work your way he through it. He has the, the I'm a celebrity thing. That, that, that was a cute song. And then he uh. has another one I like. Yeah. But I like Nas is um, you got you. It's, it's, it's all or nothing. It's Sauce Santana. I like this. so you so so I'm this choosing is, her. Yeah. Okay, you choosing her. Bob, because okay. I like the music better. Yeah. T.S. Madison or Miss Netta? Now you know motherfucking. Well. I don't know now, nothing. Stop I'm playing, asking bitch. you. First of all, oh, wait, oh my, let's edit this part out, show. Go on. The short is light. However, <laughs> holy smokes, uh, Jesus, please. Um, T.S. Madison. First of all, yeah. <laughs> Okay. T.S. Tis is my girl. I love her. I love T.S. Medicine. That's like Ms. my fairy Netta, godmother. I don't even know that's <laughs> well, girl, oh, hey. You the playing, girls are bitch. Tokyo Tony or Carlissa? Tokyo is my bitch. Love her. I, I, I did a show. So that's Absolutely. my baby. I love Tokyo. Zeus Network or Now That's TV? Zeus. Be clear. Zeus hires the girls who have actually accomplished stuff before. Amber Rose or Jocelyn Hernandez? Amber Rose. My girl. Love her. Natalie Nunn or Tommy? Oh! Uh, well, Tommy and I are friends in real life, so Tommy. Oh, that's my sister. Yeah, Tommy and I've been friends. Remember, we did Love Hip Hop Ooh. season five together. Okay, let's talk about that. What you thought about that boxing match? Okay, be clear though, uh, boxing uh, match wise. Okay, okay. Go ahead, me, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, go ahead. One, Tom. That, let's be clear. How, was, okay, so they did like three rounds, three in total fights. Yeah, like on the show, the boxing. Tommy won that last one, but I want to get to that I, boxing I match. I think that it was. I thought that it was satire, to be quite frank. Tommy was, was dancing around, playing. I, I don't think it was a thing. Tommy's going to be my sister. Like, Tommy and I talk on the phone. That's my bitch. Like, fuck with Natalie. She's cool. Like, we've been before, but, but, but Natalie and I don't know each other personally. Like okay, that. so Tommy. Okay, so that's a bias Whatever there. happened, Tommy's my bitch. Yeah. Period. That's how it should be. But Tommy did get Natalie that on that beach. Put yes, on. Tommy's my sister, so the end. Okay, <laughs> so um, top or bottom? What do you mean as far as what? Girl, top or bottom? Bo top. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> L.A. or New York? New York. I'm from New York. I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Queens, so I was just raised in Maryland. Okay. Yeah. Drake or Kendrick? Drake. I love Drake. Really? Yes. I'm so like, you think like, Drake won that? No I, no, I think that Kendrick won that battle, but I think that Drake in general, like, I love Drake's music more than Kendrick's music. Oh, wow. Yeah. You got to think against L.A. 
No, is what is is Drake's not from here? No, he's from Canada. Oh, didn't know. Oh, okay. Nikki or Megan the Stallion? I don't know. This is a hard Ooh. one. Um really? Yeah, because I don't I I because I, I don't know like either of their music like that. Like I am a, a like 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 Lil' Kim is my girl. Okay. However though, but but I like them both though. I, I don't know which one to one. choose. Um Nikki, I guess. Nikki Minaj, okay, that was a safe bet. Okay, Ice Well, Price. no, because I, I know more of Nikki's music oh, than right. Megan's. Yeah. Ice Spice or Cardi B? No, I, I didn't know. Cardi B, please. <laughs> I don't need the, 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 Cardi's my sister. Shout out to Cardi. Cardi, look, let's be clear. Look, when my mom passed away, she reached out instantly. I feel like, oh, I feel like, like anybody that's, that's me, I, I, I put them in the... That's okay, we love that. No, 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 that, that, that's, that's real. Yeah, I didn't know that. I wouldn't even think that Ice Spice would be c- compared to her whatsoever. But yeah, Cardi, that's my baby. Okay, period. Um, Last one. Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? <laughs> Um, I, Kamala. I feel like you wanted to elaborate a little bit um, on that. I just think that I said Kamala. Shit. Girl, I think that I don't the whole you. conversation with politics is just intense. So Kamala it is. That's what you write down on your ballot. Yeah, it just depends, but Kamala. Okay, now mm-hmm. let's play a little game with the pod decks. Okay. Oh, that's, those are cute. That's oh, cute. Okay, mm-hmm. I like. So those. these are like yeah. little fun, lighthearted games. Okay, okay? Cute, cute, cute. And this is a game called Would You Rather. Oh, that's fun. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, would you rather Ooh. be forced to have to be forced to high five everyone you make eye contact with, <laughs> or strike up conversations with at least five strangers a day? Oh, so what was the first one again? The first one is, would you rather high-five everyone you make eye contact with or strike up conversations with at least five strangers a day? A high-five. Yeah, the high-five, even yeah. during the pandemic. I don't want to be talking to strangers like that. Yeah. That's not my thing. Is that a thing, though? Like, how, do you ever feel like, you know, especially on a good, good night, like when the girls want to come take pictures and talk, do you ever feel like you're, like, not as social as you want to be? Like, as you no, are I can turn it on real quick. But no, I, but I don't, listen... To be, I don't like people like that's not my thing. Like, yeah. I, like I think that people in their heads for some reason think that I'm just such a pe- people person. And I just love. It's like no stupid. Listen, I know how to adapt. Like, let's be clear. If I had a choice of not meeting people, that would totally be it. How, however, <laughs> however though, when I meet people, I'm not giving. Oh, get out my face! It's not giving that. Like, like, like I know how to, to adapt to <laughs> this conversation. I'm not gonna be rude to the person I'm in front of. However, though, I don't. If I had a choice, I would prefer. To not meet anybody that I don't know already because of it's just too much going on the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Speaking of nose, would you rather <laughs> blow your nose with sandpaper or use bubble wrap instead of toilet paper? What is what is bubble wrap? Oh, but I, well, my, well, I, I guess I'll say bubble wrap because I can't you I can't blow my nose with sandpaper. Yeah, you can't play with that. Well, yeah, it, it'd be a situation, honey. Oh, okay. And I'm actually I'm, I think I'm gonna get done, get it one more time. Now you better stop that. It's gonna fall <laughs> off. Okay, just like a tiny pit. Girl, you gonna look like Michael Jackson. Bitch. But Michael, Michael Jackson had like four nose jobs. That and her nose is broke off. It's like and by the gust of the no, slightest gust of one, that motherfucker broke yeah, off at the tip. I, I th- you yeah. don't want it to break off at the tip. It becomes a brittle nose. You do too many. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, would you rather spend the night in a dumpster or a porter potty? Bitch, you gotta pick one. Yeah, well, give me. Um, oh, neither. No, you have to uh, pick, pick one. Okay. Um. Um, I uh, a porta potty. Really? And I feel like a, a, a dumpster is a porta potty. I, I, I can put the seat down. Yeah, you know, sit on it. Like, a dumpster. I feel like the whole thing is giving you spit, dirt. It yeah. Could be feces. Chat. I don't know. Chat. And then, uh, uh-uh, I brought yeah. I'll send up. I'll send up. Okay, so we have some more fun questions. Okay, friend. <laughs> have some more. Wait, isn't today like Sunday fun day in LA? We're going out. No, because remember we we I saw you l- last weekend. You were having a great time. So were you. Actually, you know, that's when <laughs> I realized I liked you though. You know why? I'm, I'm be a honest. fun girl. Well, not only that, <laughs> you know, a lot of girls like that have platforms, they give a lot. Right, and they like to try to give like this. Oh, I have to move through the crowd. I can't be seen. Like, yeah, and no, you give what no, I give. No. Like, girl, hey, like take. Well, no, and, like, and, and, and then two way. Hold on, let me land. Let me land. Then you went and was like, you let your friend do his thing, and you did your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you paid it, so you weren't giving like texting like I have to go here. Yeah, I need no. to be here. You were more like, girl, I'm good. Yeah. I can always rock with a bitch like that because mm-hmm. I, that tells me 
you were never late. Like you're very secure. Yeah, you didn't need to be seen. You need to pop yeah. out. Like the girls right, that be right. giving yeah, like yeah, that's true. yeah, like cater to me. I need all the yeah. attention and, and to be trying to move fast. Well, I, well, they I, I, well, late. Well, well, that's how I feel. That's what I was People like. Okay, girl, I like who her. are used to attention yeah. don't have the attention. Like it's like a typical time. When I initially at first got famous, right, I was like, oh my god, people like me for being me, right? And after I thought about it, I was given this, this has been my whole life, bitch. I honestly was homecoming prince, homecoming king, mm-hmm. palm king. I'm like, bitch, mm-hmm. this is, I, I'm like, I'm not like, like I would go places that I knew the people, the crowd wouldn't be there because yeah. it's like, child, oh, here we go. Now, now Grant, I love my supporters, but I feel like it gets overwhelming sometimes. And then plus two, walking through a crowd, right? Making it like, oh my God, I'm here. Brings more attention <laughs> than you do walking through the crowd like a regular person. Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. yeah, so that's when I was like, okay, I like you because you were not, I mean, I'm just being honest, you weren't irritating. Yeah. A lot of, like, you don't know. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying because a lot of those girls, like living here in a city like LA is probably the most pretentious town yeah, of, sure. across the whole United States of America. Yeah. Instead, and so I see a lot I'm of shit. I'm moving here. I think you should. Yeah. I, but but, I, I, but when I, wait, let me say this. When I come, I'm gonna eat y'all bitches up. You know what? I, I feel like a lot of you bitches need need, need it. I got really? like a surprise for them, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm here to I'm seated. Yeah. I'm, seated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seated to see what that looks like. Yeah. I'm you a, know, I'm, but LA is one of these pretentious towns. And for me, I probably like I'm from California, but I'm from the Bay Area. So no, that's, isn't that the ghetto? Absolutely not. Mm. Silicon Valley, are you crazy? Well, remember, it's more uh, no, I said it because Natalie was on bad girl. She said, I'm from the Bay. I thought that Girl, everywhere has their ghettos, but absolutely not. There's so much money in the Bay Area. I mean, no, you crazy. definitely give me an a, a intelligent man. No, so. so the Bay Area is full. So every, like, that's all where all the tech is. So Twitter, Facebook, mm. you know, all of that. Instagram, that's all. Hulu, Uber. I love Hulu. That's there. So if you want to get into tech, that's where you make mm. all Apple. All those headquarters are there. This is really the ghetto because, girl, this oh, is all a bunch of yeah. fake, pretentious ass yeah. people, mm-hmm. you know, walking around trying to fill themselves. And everybody has a stylist, and everybody's a publicist, and mm-hmm. a dancer, and this, and, and everybody and their team. You get what I'm saying? That's what this gives me. Mm-hmm. And so I've seen a lot of that here. And it's like when you come here, you'll want to go out a lot. Because it just feels like I should be out. But then for me, I'm like, you know what? I don't have to go out because it's something all the time. And then I don't like the thing at the door with the whole, like, craziness. Sometimes they be trying it at the door. It just be a lot of time. It be a whole lot of lot. It be a whole lot of lot of just for the same people that you could see at every other event. Right, right, yeah. And so for me, you know, and it just be a lot of talking about nothing. But so anyway, that's just LA. But anyway, (laughs) so has anyone ever started a rumor about you? If so, what was it about? I mean, there have been a lot of rumors about What's me. What's the best one? The, the, the one that knew me the most was that I was on meth. I thought that was weird. Yeah. Meth is crazy. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought that was absurd. Have you ever tried meth no, before? No, I have not. I've never tried meth before now, either. I, I, thought, I thought that was absurd. I was like, and I think that's too. Like, I'm like, bitch, like, y'all don't know y'all, y'all, y'all drug or y'all liquors. Like, bitch, I was dead ass. When, like, when I did Tiz Madison show, they thought I was, people were like, and people were, I actually sued a girl and I won the case for defamation oh. because, bitch, why would you get on, on your YouTube page and make a whole video saying that I was on meth, bitch, and coke, and you don't know that for a fact? And, bitch, you got proved wrong, bitch, and had to pay me. Thanks, sweetie, bitch. Well, listen, I've, I've never done meth, but I've done coke before. Yeah, I've, I've done, done pills before. Yeah. before. Yeah. I've smoked weed before. But, I've but done my shit. I've no be, secrets. Like, I've done that But before. let's be very clear. I'm a very transparent person, right? It, first of all, I've but been... But meth is crazy. But I've been working in entertainment for so long that I don't have to do a drug to, like, oh, I got to do this to, so I won't be nervous. It's not a thing, like, bitch, like, I don't, like, first of all, my regular personality gives off I'm on drugs because that's my because my personality just gives oh. like like I'm like that's the kind of person I am. However though, I don't have to do drugs to like, oh I gotta be comfortable for the show. No, bitch. I was I like I felt like people m- making YouTube a video saying like, oh girl, he he was on math, he was on coke. Like bitch, I, I was thinking like Y'all was dead, bitch that y'all know. No, you just up? talk fast. Yeah, that's exactly. why. That's why. But it's like you dumb bitch, you shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. What's the most embarrassing or worst thing your parents ever caught you doing? I don't, I mean, I think that, like I said, when but my parents, well, my, I was dating a guy that was 30 and my father found out. That's very embarrassing. But we had similar I stories. 16, I was, yeah. I was 16. I was dating a 21 year old. And well, that's not as bad as 30 though. But well, Marco had the bag. Matter of fact, I don't know where Marco's at right now, but Marco had me dripped, okay, baby? I was going back to school with, uh, with the Prada book bag. It was a big thing, baby, okay? Yeah, see, Hi, Marco. see I didn't go through with the Prada <laughs> book bag, but see, <laughs> the problem with me was I had I had the video recording, you know, and so oh he took me into the stall, and he had, like, the thing oh, thing. Holy smoke. And so he wanted me to well, that hold my... it. 
And I went and I, but he was the trade though. Well, so I was, bra- kind of mm. I was bragging to the girls that I had pulled the trade. And the fish got kind of felt some type of way. And the straight boys, they were feeling away. And cause I, you know, I, I had been always recorded a lot, bitch. So no, I was in my. high school. My dad bought my first video camera. I took it to Pride. Girl, I met the nigga. I told him I was 18 oh, so and was, a half. Uh, you, you, see, I wasn't that kind of gay. I wasn't that Pride and like that. Yeah, I went to Pride. I, 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 I had to sneak. Thank you, they're forced yeah, they But listen, good. I had to sneak to Pride. <laughs> Wait, what, quick question. Were your teeth small that first or something? No, honestly, I just knew I talked a lot of shit and I was gonna be on TV. You no, know I'm saying because your veneers aren't veneers aren't that big. So. Oh, they shaved them down. Well, I know that I got mine shaved down as well, but mine are big because my teeth were big. Oh no, I don't know. Right. But everybody thinks mine are big. They don't look big to me. <laughs> they not big. I just got big gums. I don't even see the gums up. It's, I mean, they look. I mean, you let me tell you something. There's, let me tell you something. If you type in our mom right now, they got horse means to me. Bitch, you get these teeth in person. Oh yeah, the, the people do say that. You don't care, baby. Yeah. Do you? I tell those girls, send me a bitch that got a better smile than me. I'll give you $1,000 right now. Right. Bitch, they never do it. So well, at the end of the day, I don't care. Look good, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, this is one of the things that I feel like, girl, pay say it. what you pay it, girl. Because, yeah. girl, like, girl, <laughs> like, I don't even go back and forth <laughs> with that. Because let me tell you something. I would never go back to my original smile. Yeah, well, you can't now. Bitch, even if I could, I wouldn't. Yeah. Like, girl, please. Are you crazy? But yeah, long story short, the man, I, the, they caught me Holy smokes. at school with the video camera, with the dick out, with the man, 21. I was 16. I got expelled. Of course you did. Of course, because I had brought porn to school. But I was already on a DRB contract because I was fighting white kids because they kept calling me there because I went to all white mm. high school. So I would fight a lot in school. Um, but plus, I also was the, the tea at the school. So like, girl, you know, I would spit a lot of tea. You know, I was going to mess at school. So anyway, I'm getting into a lot of stuff, so I have to fight a lot. So anyway, so my dad got upset, and then he saw the video camera. That was the first time I actually saw him cry because he was just so over. He was strong. He still has that camera. Then he went and told the whole family, showed the whole family the video tape. Yeah, it was just a mess. He caught the guy, wanted to threaten the guy, to kill the guy, but the guy didn't know. Similar to my story. Yeah, but see, this I remember the time. I don't know if you guys even had this. That you know, I had my Metro PCS phone, my Nokia twenty two seventy. My Bay Area girls know what the Metro PCS phone is. Well, I think uh, uh, the Metro PCS is like a thing now. This commercial button now. So. Well, it started and you know they didn't have it everywhere. Oh, in the Bay. Yeah, I feel like it did. Uh, they, yeah, yeah, you know where the Silicon well, Valley. Well, only you knew about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. didn't have it there, you know. So we had those resources. <laughs> so anyway, I was texting the nigga and we was just kind of talking. And my dad would like get my phone and be like, "You texting that mother?" So then and, you know, and he would leave me like these voice notes and stuff. I wonder where he's at. I'm you know, if we see each other, like, let me know where you are. But you know, my, my dad ended up cussed him, cursing him out and going off and, call, you know, calling me all kind of fruitcakes and fags and stuff like that. It was just a mess. Have you see, ever been called a fruitcake? See, my father wasn't like that. Yeah, my dad was a mess. But I love my dad today. Mm. We, you know, we get along um, and he loves. Why do you have like a New York accent kind of? I don't know. Everybody feels like I have that. And I just feel like, which I don't know. Mm. I feel like. California, I'm California born. I feel like Houston raised me a little bit because I moved to Houston around 18 and kind of did a stint there. And then I did a stint in Atlanta, but then try, I did a stint. I did a stint in a lot of places. I did a stint in Vegas. So you, so you were having a good time. Yeah, because I had to find myself because, child, I was getting put out because... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, because I was gay and yeah. I didn't really get along well, with no, my... Well, you are stuff. gay. Yeah. I'm, I hate people say I was. Like, well, I'm, I'm still gay. gay and I'm very proud no, about I'm it. Gay, but yeah. dur- during that time, though, you know, they just was like, you're gay, so you got to get out of here. And it was just a mess. They had so. enough for you. And then, too, it was more <laughs> like, bitch, I want to go talk to niggas. Yeah. And I felt like I can talk to niggas in Houston. You made it make sense. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? See, I, I, I've never been to Houston before, but one of my good friends is from Houston. Yeah, I love Houston. Houston literally kind of raised me. I like, Houston was a good time. I had a gay father in Houston. So, you know, like, that was kind of my family there. You know what I'm saying? But then and I ended up going to jail and doing a little fraud. Oh, you know? my. Yeah, I used to be one of the girls. Holy smokes. Yeah, I went to jail and everything. Jeez Louise. Cocaine, fraud, everything. Ugh. Theft, yes. Oh I didn't eat theft, but I have no secrets. Oh, my. I have no secrets. Bitch, I've had STDs before. I've done what? fraud. I've done coke. I have chlamydia before, bitch, and crabs. It was a mess. It was a disaster. Oh, my. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, girl. It's no... Let's like. Get- yeah, it, I know. mean, my people know this. I mean, so I'm sure no people shame. have had it before. Today. Bitch, listen, you can't talk about people and have secrets. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I agree. You can't. Right, right, you right, cannot. Right, yeah. yeah, I don't want really have secrets either. You cannot. Okay, so what's the scariest <laughs> sound you could hear in the middle of the night? I'm not a scary ass bitch, so I don't know nothing. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe a person screaming. Like, I'm not the type of person like <gasps> heard a sound. Like, bitch, I'm with all that. So it's giving bitch. I'm open door up on my own. Like, what's up? Yeah. Okay, and here's the last one. If you could sing a duet with anyone, who would it be? Mm. So I love singing. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> does that have to be famous? 
Girls, any <laughs> wait, wait, can, can it be famous or uh, anyone? No, I, no. First of all, I'm not. I was, my, my friend's a good singer, but he is just so bougie that he don't like do it. All right. No, 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 no. Even in karaoke, he'll give to the person like this man stopped us at karaoke and said, "I oh, somebody do it," and he turned around and said, "I don't do duets." I was like, oh, "Okay, so yeah, he don't play the game." Oh, you can really sing? No, he sings down. Okay, can you sing for us before the show? Yeah, can you sing for us? So look, uh, okay. I, so he he sings really good. Um, what is it? Tennessee whiskey. He ate. The, first of all, we did karaoke. I'm looking like bitch. I think he did this on purpose. He's like he took me to a spot where. Yeah, I don't do no, that. Any no, girl that no, but can constantly where, tell me to go to Harry, no, karaoke. But, she went out. No, I'm me. How, how, no, how shady he was me. though. Everyone can sing. I'm giving. Yeah, bitch, that's is, not is what this, karaoke is for. Yeah, I'm giving. Oh hell no. Yeah. I'm the only one that can sing. No, karaoke uh, honestly, is not for you to out sing me. Normally, like honestly, not a nervous person. I was nervous when I went up there, like. Yeah, because they were all blowing. Like I'm giving. Yeah, no. However, though, so if I could sing with anybody, don't ever I, invite me to that karaoke. Wait, so so can I like, rap with somebody? Maybe rap. Who would you want to do a duet with? You would want to do it, but he's not gonna do it with you. Duet. You would do a duet with him, but he won't no. do it with well, you. No, no, because he's too bougie. No, no I'm gonna do it with him. I don't know why she even covered her face, but I won't do it with her anyway. Sweetie. <laughs> but however, <laughs> sweetie. However, look, little Kim. Oh, you really like Lil' Kim. It's my bitch. Well, I love no. Lil' Kim, too. Well, shit, no. But she followed me on Instagram, so I fuck with but, Lil' but Kim. But I know a lot of her songs. Mostly. Okay, rap one of Lil' Kim's song right now. Well, it depends on which one. I, I, whatever uh, okay. one you like. So this is my, my favorite line from Kim, right? This is on her, her third album, I think, La Bella Mafia. She said, um, I'd rather be dead and rich than broken living. But, uh, look, without rap, I'd probably be selling dope in prison. It's not a fat verse. With some Vera Wayne dead khakis and, and Zanoki Chuck. Dead, dead and rich instead of broken living. So you'd rather be dead and rich than broken living. So I'd rather be in nah, the grave I'd rich, take broken bitch. living. Well, that's on you, sweetie. That's, 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 that's very clear. What so, are you going to do dead and rich? What are you going to do broken living? Girl, a lot. Child, girl, rebrand. You just said time. that you can rebuild yourself, No, girl. you can't, bitch. I'm rebuild, bitch. Like my bitch said, <laughs> yeah, I'd rather... Or, that wasn't a good one, girl. She said dead that and was rich crazy. than broken living, bitch. Ain't What's nobody, look, look. Ain't nobody going to agree I with that shit. I think that's fab. Listen. Why agree, bitch? I think, girl, I think that's hey, fab of her. No. Uh, does anybody want to... Who in here want to be... Who wants to be... Who wants, who to, wants to be broke and living? Who wants to be dead and rich in this room? Me. Oh, bitch, so bitch. now, now, now come out. Now, I was now, with you, but girl, right. now come I out, can't. come I out. She said, she said, I would have rather right. be. She didn't say, bitch, kill me right now, make me rich. She said, I'd rather than yeah, clean that one up. Well, let's be very clear. Okay, listen, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to be rich. Um, um, look, look, dead. I mean, um, look, broken living child. Have fun, y'all. I ain't got time to listen. Listen, I don't want no broke ass man. I don't want no cheap ass man. I don't want nobody around me, bitch, that's giving cheap man energy, bitch. I would rather be crying in a rose voice than a 1992 Toyota, okay, bitch? Give me a man. Give me a cheating man with money, bitch, as opposed to a cheating man that's poor. I wish I would. No, thanks. Okay, and so now that we come to the end, I really like this. Can you move down here? Because, bitch, I feel like we could do a I'm podcast coming, together. I'm, I'm getting the girls together when I come. Girl, let's do yeah, it. It's going to be a blast, actually. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. So let's kiki more. Yes, I'll live So we can you. build the... Because you had said something that was interesting. You was like, why do the girls always act like they don't like you? And they don't Well, no, because let me be clear why I said that. Because people always say they don't like you. Why? And, um, you tell me. Bitch, I don't know. This is something that you've heard. No, you heard it too. I see it online, but that's yeah, what people yeah. do on the internet. Well, I don't see that about me on the internet. Oh, I see it all. But I have yeah. an opinion. <laughs> you said what? I be having an opinion. So people don't like me because of my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, mean, I but yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the people say they don't like you a lot, yeah. Really? But then again, but though. But what do they say they don't but like no, about but me? I gag because remember, I said like everybody mentioned you, like my friend Isaiah was well, giving. Well, that's my boy. No, but he was giving, oh, my mom's dope. And then Al said the same thing. And my other friend said, I was like, well, who? I was like, which girls I love don't, Alex. I was like, which girls don't like him then? Well, they are clearly a lot. Right? Well, I'll just say this. The girls that don't like me, look at them. Well, they I have know. a certain aesthetic. They mm -hmm. all have a certain See, aesthetic. Well, I was going to this right. Everybody that the cute boys no. like me. Well, you know it's funny. No, because I remember <laughs> when I like when I when I when, when I first got famous, some of the people that I didn't really feel like were aesthetically pleasing, they were all so sweet to me. Um, however, though, when I like every attractive man is always nice to me. We will always well, um, unless they like unless I don't, they think I'm fucking that man somebody, there, but they're always so nice. I feel like oh. Well, I just feel like, you know, any industry problems I've ever had has been because a bitch has played in my face. Well, no, no, it's because you were talking about people. Like you said, you talked about you, you did you did you talked about other people in the past. No, no, I understand that. But I'm just saying, like, there's other people that, you know Like who? Well, girl, I mean, you know, some of the girls don't like me, but they don't like me because I'm not gonna let you play with me. No, you know what I mean? A lot of girls feel like, oh, you know, you're a newcomer, so girl, I'm gonna play with you. But are you new? No. Mm -hmm. And and, I, and I'm grown. Mm -hmm. New or not. 
but you're not going to play with me. Let me ask you, because how long have you been like creating content? Okay, so I started in 2015. Oh, you can wait for this comment, huh? This no, I was on 15. No, no, no. Oh, okay, so. No, no, I, so you get so you get the picture. <laughs> yeah. so, I'm not new. I was on Facebook before the growth. No, I, that's what I feel. I feel yeah. So, I find that a lot of people think that, that once. Now, I will say this. When I I've got, been doing this for seven now, years. Now, when I got famous, right, I was new. I didn't know shit about, remember, but no one was famous from uh, apps yet, right? Yeah. However, I, a lot of people, just like just like Miss Miss Netta says a lot, that she's been making videos and she You like Miss Netta? I don't um, know her. I like Miss Netta, and I feel like she's misunderstood. Well, okay, I think that Miss Netta, um, I think that I think that Miss Netta needs to be more of a listener um, and that she, um, she, sweet lady, I'm sure. I think that I, I, I think that, that okay. I think that Miss Netta is not going to be a thing as far as longevity. I I agree with you, and here's I, I, but I'm gonna I, but, say this. But I think that I, I do I think that she did. Uh, she went viral, great, right? Because she's been trying for years, right? But I do feel like. In, in this industry, I, I just don't think that Miss Netta is going to be like, I'm like, she's going to be the girl that people are like, oh, she had her own show. And people, I think that people are tired of her already. It's like, not a thing. And she just went viral. You know what I'm saying, as far as like, she just. Well, because she's not playing our cards right. The problem yeah, is. Yeah, because she, she's so defensive. It's she's like, not girl, humble. Relax. You got you. Listen, and, and, and see, I, people don't like when I say this, but you can't be ugly and cocky. You have to be ugly and humble. You have to be nice. People love the underdog. Yeah, but right nice. now, when Miss Netta gets on her, look at my numbers. Look at my. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, she does. They lie. don't. Because you know, she, but listen, no. but but but, but Miss Netta's not gonna listen to nobody about this. She's fifty-seven. She, is she, she fifty? Yeah, but she said it. But she really Gosh, feels that she knows it all. But my thing with her is this, girl. If you, but if you sat down and shut the fuck up and listen to people who actually been in the for a long time, then you would actually get further. But she thinks she knows it all, and she gets yeah. so. Uh, offended by everything you say. It's like, girl, listen to what they're saying, girl. I think like the dude Darius Cook's trying to tell us something, but it's like she was so it's like, girl, relax. Yeah. And then this too. She knows who nobody is. She's like, I don't, I didn't know who Tia Kim is. I don't, it's like, it's like Netta. But my thing with, with Netta is this: people only know who you are because of laughing at you. It's not like people, and let's be clear, whether you know who these people are, Netta, or know who, even who we are, right? We still have been in the industry and, and, and been making moves longer than you have, right? And we'll Listen, continue. Listen, if I was Miss Netta, I would have did it a whole other way because the reality of the situation is a lot of these people feel some type of way because a lot of these, girl, some of these women can't take because it's like you got this ugly 57-year-old man in a wig with pimples and zits with a halfway decent looking man that love her. And, bitch, I can't even find my baby daddy so to respond to her. So a lot of these girls feel away. And so, Miss Netta, instead of leaning into... The controversy and, 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 and kind of being arrogant. Understand that, girl. Bitches is pressed because, girl, you got a nigga that like you. And they feel like, girl, you couldn't possibly look the way that you look and have somebody that want to lay with you. So, bitch, I wouldn't be bothered by what any bitch got to say because, girl, you don't have no man. Bitch, a bitch online, no, a would... bitch online fighting her baby daddy every day, reading and dragging that don't even acknowledge her could never make me feel away when I got a nigga. And I look like you. Bitch, I... I would never feel away, girl. You're mad because, bitch, I'm la I'm a man with a man, and I look the way that I look. Mm, which is mad. With, whatever you feel it is, a nigga like me. Right, where's your yeah, nigga? Make it make sense, right? Where's yeah. your nigga? Right. So that's you know that's my whole thing. So you know so I like Miss Then I just but, wish I could talk to her and let her know, girl, you so really had an upper hand on, on your show. Well, girl, because I don't have time for her to flip on me because I had to curse Miss Netta the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for that. Um, but I like Miss Netta. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it's always you gotta like somebody after you done went off no, on the show. No, I do like, I like her. her. She no, nice because though. I don't really like to do interviews like that. Like I liked you, but I don't really like to do all that. No, I like, I like you. Miss I, I, I Netta. Think that, that you are such a. I was telling um my friend Isaiah. I, I, yeah. I was like, he's so sweet. I I really well, I really think had a blast last Sunday. Yeah, we're gonna have a blast this Sunday. Yeah, but I think I think we, I think we had such a good time though. <laughs> We did. I we think it was so nice, so sweet. It was, it was, it was we can't talk time. like that because people think that we're sleeping together. That's just what it gets. Is that what it gets? Oh, absolutely. No, you... Isaiah said no. He said it gets very much girlfriend. I think that that, that no, everyone I'm knows talking me. about online. You know, yeah, just like, 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 like when, when I was in, in, engaged, right? Like I think that that people knew, you know, like the Bob with the Bob plus. I think people know what stuff, like you give. All right, is there anything else we need to cover before I don't we think get up out of here? Because I'm ready you... to get outside. Yeah, I come go outside. I don't. Can I cannot wait us outside? Place is so. Uh, the girls very LA. You know. You know what? It's, it's very LA, right? Yeah, and this is look, 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 the slides of well, Marnie for the girls who don't know. Oh, now, bitch, I probably wouldn't do the slides. Well, I saw the the, voice they're fine. cute, but I'm just saying, like, girl, it's a lot we'll of walking. Be, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay. Look, and we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Okay. I'm from New York. I walked a lot growing up. In slides? Um, no, but. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. So it's been a wrap. Uh, Sean Santiago times Armand Wiggins. 
hope you really move here so we could like kind of make this no, a thing. No, no. So but let's be clear. I'm gonna come actually. Um, I only was in Georgia because my mother, because people always was like, you you would never leave. Oh. I'm like, bitch, I honestly would not have. My mother will always say, why are you leaving? Like, my mom and I were real close. So that's the only reason why I never left. However, though, since my mom's not here no more, I'm going to probably come to LA. Yeah, because I feel like we can really get done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I can make my sense in LA, but like I said, that I, I would have been here, but whatever. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go out, guys. Yeah, I had such a good time. Thanks yeah. for inviting me here. Yeah, and I just, I like that it was like a back and forth. Yeah, it made it make because sense. I didn't want it to give like like interview vibes. No, it be like it's too talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all later, y'all. All right, bye.